my name's Julie Bonner and welcome to our lifestyle blog on Waimauku. We practice organics and have done so for quite some time now. Now here we have, we're actually in our orchard by the way and uh, spring's nearly over uh, and in front of us here we have a crab apple. It's just a wonderful, um, wonderful tree. As you can see here we've got lots of blossom. We've even got some um, a fruit there, it's gorgeous. The thing about crab apple, I don't know if you've ever tried to eat them before, they really are quite sour, uh, so they're not the sort of thing that you want to eat, uh, but they're really fab and jam because they've got lots of pectin. And if we just bring the camera and I'll just show you, we've actually got some um, cicada damage here. So as much as cicadas are great and they really are fabulous things, they can damage your trees. Underneath the tree, and I think I read somewhere that geranium is great at repelling codlin moth. So I've planted that, um, that underneath and the smell of this is just great. It's really, it's really fab, very rosy. Okay, here we have a damson plum. And this is just absolutely laden with fruit. It's fantastic. And what we will use this for is possibly some jam. Well, believe it or not, it makes a fabulous vodka. Uh, I've also cut the middle out of this tree, which is pretty important. That sort of lets the, the sunlight in and so forth. And I gave it a really good haircut at the end of last season so that I can actually reach for that fruit. I won't need a ladder. And just underneath, we've got one of my favourite herbs, and this is comfrey. This is just terrific stuff. Uh, you plant that anywhere in your orchard and it does all sorts of things from it uh, brings in beneficial insects which is your bees because they absolutely love the purple and it also acts as a barrier against kaikuia but plus it has an amazing root system which uh, can go down many feet below and it brings up the minerals from uh, the subsoil so it really is a terrific plant to have in your garden and over here this is my quince tree and it really, it's just amazing. Look at these, aren't they fantastic? And they will get to be quite large and we should be taking those off the tree probably next April. They're just terrific. So, and the thing about quince is that it doesn't mind wet feet. So it is actually, um, in winter time this area does get quite, quite wet. We've got some significant growth here too. Um, so that's looking pretty good. Quince again uh, makes a great paste or something like that and that which you'd probably have with a, with a yummy cheese. Over here we have a Louisa plum. Gosh, I've just realized it's lost an awful lot of fruit and that's a real shame. It was laden. Louise is a fantastic plum. They're, um, they have a nice yellow inside and they're just delicious. They really are. And the thing that's really fab about them is that they almost don't need any pruning. They seem to maintain their shape. Although of course they're going to grow tall and that's something you don't really want because again you want your you know, tree to be manageable, you want to be able to pick your fruit. So ideally you take these top branches off uh, which means that the tree also isn't wasting a lot of energy on branches that are skyward bound. But what we do as we're organic, uh, once a month we spray our fruit trees with a seaweed and fish fertilizer and they just love it. The growth is just amazing. And we also mulch, which we do at the start of spring. And this is just gorgeous. This keeps the soil moist and that's important too. We've got lovely comfrey here, which is one of my favorites. And we've got a garlic and there's no way I'll be digging this garlic up. I just love seeing it there. It's just fabulous. If we just come over here, we have a grafted pear tree and this is a sickle uh, on one side which is uh, a pollinator for most pears and on the other side we have a doyen de commise. Now what they do with pears is they actually use a quince as the root stock and as you can see, this by no means is this a pear, this is a quince and I've been particularly bad, I should have actually chop this branch off so which I will do at the end of, uh, of this season so it's quite interesting no pears but plenty of quinces and again that's in a, a very moist area over here we have a rather sad looking peach tree see all is not well in the orchard uh, but 
this is because it's Auckland and it has leaf curl and Auckland is a very humid environment therefore you are going to suffer with things like leaf curl and we've got a few uh, peaches on this tree I'm not actually sure of the variety as this was a seedling that was given to me so and again I really should I should uh, my pruning should uh, improve I should take the middle out of this tree and again if we have a look we've got cicada damage here too just very quickly we have a black doris which is a plum and uh, this was absolutely laden at the start of spring with, with blossoms and now, gosh, there's only a couple of fruit on it. So I tend to think it may well be in the, uh, the rotten weather that we had with a lot of wind, which is typical in spring, and we've lost uh, pretty well nearly all the fruit. Anyway, everybody, I think that might be it for me today. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, walk through our orchard. It's pretty special. Okay, until next time. Mm -hmm.